Good morning, everybody. My name is Mike Murphy. I'm uh, on the crossover and SUV global marketing team. So what we do is, is uh, we take the products that are developed and designed and engineered, and we market them both uh, pre-launch all the way through basically 2018, 2019. So we're looking at today's products through the next generation. And what's exciting is, as a, as a marketer, we get to focus on so many different technologies and attributes that Ford is known for. The great designs, the ability to have great fuel economy, high quality, and the ability to have a highly engineered, well-contented vehicle that can be purchased and be paid for at really every level. Now, today, specifically, we're going to investigate and have the opportunity to test the all-wheel drive capabilities and the technologies behind what our all-wheel drive capabilities are. And I, I think it's important from a marketing aspect, it's what's not in the vehicle and what you don't see that makes it unique. Because it's all the content that the engineers who you're going to be able to drive and test these vehicles with, that they design and develop and put into these vehicles that give customers the confidence and give them the ability to be secure as they drive their vehicles. And that's what's exciting is, is we can market these great technologies to give our customers that confidence and that calmness. Now, it's important uh, for our customers and it's a main driver when we look at both the SUV and the CUV segments. In fact, in the Great Lakes and in the East Markets, all-wheel drive is a major purchase reason. It's really what drives them into our dealerships. So be able, being able to have the best quality and the highest technical advancement into our vehicles are important. So today you have the opportunity to drive the Explorer Sport. It's off to a tremendous start, and I think this is where you're really going to see the enthusiasts behind it. You're also going to have the opportunity to drive the all-new Fusion. Since its beginning and launch as a global product, this vehicle actually had its best 2012, and it's off to a 46% start in January. And then one of my personal favorites is the all-new Escape. Again, had its best 12, which toppled the 11 all-time best. And we have over 2 million of these on the road. And what's interesting about the Escape is, is it, it, it is driving a different customer into our showroom. That customer wants and expects a well-contented vehicle that is willing to accept a lot of the great technologies that we put together in that, in that vehicle. So things such as hands-free liftgate, which is exclusive, are driving our customers into that showroom. So again, we're going to have those great vehicles, and it is the number one purchase reason in both the Great Lakes and the East. And when we look at it even further at Ford, we have more all-wheel drive vehicles than we've ever had before. And I think it's what we put behind it is what makes it so special. So when we look at the growth of all-wheel drive, statistically, if you look at the national growth in the U.S., and I know we, we'll get into some Canada numbers in a little bit. But the growth in the U.S. between 2009 and 12, it's, been, it's up 53% within that time period. So within Ford Motor Company, our growth between 9 and 12 is up 72%. What we've been able to do is we've been able to add value into all-wheel drive, been able to add value into these technologies, and maintain our price point. So we're adding value for the customer and we're keeping the price the same. So if you look, specific regions that we would expect to have high all-wheel drive rates and high all-wheel drive growth would be Boston, New York, Chicago, 
those that get really all seasons. But my good friend Nacho and I are very excited to see that in Miami, we actually have a 58% growth because all-wheel drive delivers great performance as well as the safety and security of all-season driving. So we've been able to see a lot of growth where we traditionally would see it, but then also like Miami and the other markets, growth across the board. It, it goes without saying, when we put it on our products and we can offer it to a wider array of customers with better technology and holding that price point, we're going to drive more customers into our showroom. Now, nationally and industry-wide, there are some pockets for all-wheel drive through 2012. And basically, 20% is the all-wheel drive take rate. But with Ford, where all-wheel drive is available, we not only have a higher rate in those markets, but 37% of our vehicles come equipped where all, with all-wheel drive, and that's where it's available. So again, it's, it's great for us, because when we're able to focus in on those technologies and put them where they sell, we can see some great results and really buck the industry trends. The Canada-specific numbers, again, much like the U.S., 10%, but we're at 29% versus the Canadian all-wheel drive industry growth. Now, some of the reasons why, from, from our point of view, again, we're going to have a great opportunity to spend all day with the engineers that know the specifics behind all-wheel drive, torque vector and control, and the different technologies that go in to these vehicles. Our job as a marketing team is to take those technologies and be able to explain those and work with our dealers to help sell those. So when we're able to take the technologies that are designed and developed and put those into vehicles, we now have technological leadership amongst non-luxury brand all-wheel drive vehicles. So if we look at just all-wheel drive, we have it on eight vehicles in our lineup. Torque vectoring control, we have it on 11. And curve control, we have it on six different vehicles. More and more as we introduce our global lineup, we're able to leverage these synergies and put it back into the marketplace while we maintain that same value for the customer. Specifically, the vehicles that we're going to drive today, when we stack them up to the competition, on Escape, the new Escape has all-wheel drive, curve control, and torque vectoring control. You can look at both our two major competitors, CRV and RAV4. Neither have all three like the Escape does. When we look at the Fusion, the Fusion, all-wheel drive, neither Accord nor Camry offer it. And torque vectoring control, only Fusion will offer it. And I think you'll really get to see a great example of the Fusion's capabilities today. And then on Explorer, both curve control and all-wheel drive available on the Explorer and not on Pilot or Highlander. So when we really roll it all up again from a marketing team, we're able to take those great design and development elements, package them and price them in a way that's affordable to our customers to give us that technological leadership.